One does not simply have a single sentence that can explain a David Lynch film. Wild at Heart is no different. But I'm going to attempt it! Wild at Heart is a lover's road trip fairy tale. Alright, thanks for watching. Real talk before I really get into this, I do have a Patreon account at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. And if you support me there at the mithril tier level or on YouTube via the join button, you can say, Adam, I want you to watch this movie. For some reason, a good chunk of those people think I'm into the artsy stuff. I really like the movies that get under your skin and make you think. Even though the channel for the last decade has been talking about Transformers, Star Wars, Harry Potter, things that are pretty mainstream blockbuster affairs. And not only did my buddy Daniel recommend this David Lynch film, next week I'll also be talking about one called Mulholland Drive. That should be fun. That should be tasty. Alright, so what's Wild at Heart? Well, it's a Nicolas Cage, Laura Dern vehicle. Kind of an odd pairing, I suppose, but they're both pretty off-the-wall crazy, especially in this movie. We get full-blown Cage. He goes Elvis impersonation. He's dancing all over and moving his body. He's unhinged, beating dudes up, banging his girl. It's the full Monty. It's, far it's the full Cage. He plays a guy named Sailor, and for this individual, there's rough seas ahead, as he finds himself constantly in prison, on the wrong side of the law, robbing banks, manslaughter. He does it all. But he must give off this amazing pheromone because women are throwing themselves at him constantly, especially Laura Dern's character, Lula. She can't get enough of this guy, and it must run in the family because her mother's kind of taken with him too. Early on, we find out she wants to knock boots in the bathroom. Now, to be fair, she is completely out of her mind. So, it's plausible to think maybe she just wants to sleep with him to show her daughter he's unfaithful, so that Lula walks away, because that's the ultimate goal of this movie. Marlette Fortune hates Sailor. She wants this guy out of her daughter's life, even if that means putting him six feet under. Which is the entire premise of this film. It's a road trip movie where Cage and Lula are getting out of Dodge, heading to California while being hunted down by several bounty hunters, paid for by Lady Fortune herself. Along the way, we're gonna have a rogues gallery of characters, all of them completely unhinged, no one seems normal in the slightest. We have Crispin Glover. We got J.E. Freeman. And the standout by a country mile is Willem Dafoe as Bobby, criminally underutilized character in this flick. Every time he shows up, I tense. I'm like, okay, things just got real. I started this video stating David Lynch movies aren't for everyone. It's a uh, acquired taste for sure. This is no exception. It's very zany and I don't have any nostalgia attached to this. I didn't see it when it hit theaters. I didn't see it when I was a youngling. I'm just watching it with fresh eyes now. Music, a little jarring. Sound effects, campy. Acting, extremely over the top. I know Laura Dern's a good actress. Here she is campy as all can be, but everyone really is. They're all playing up a character, and I know that's a Lynch staple. That's something that he's really into, is these larger-than-life personalities. As for the visuals, inconsistent. For the most part, it looks pretty damn solid. Cinematography is really nice, especially some of the wider-angle shots. When it gets rough is when we play up the Wizard of Oz angle, in a literal sense. There's red heel clicking. There's a mystical orb effect they do constantly that looks just awful in the movie. It does not hold up at all. And then there's the witches themselves, the evil one being portrayed by the mom. And as this movie unspools, it's gonna get a little bit more insane. But not to the degree that you can go, oh my gosh, what is happening? It doesn't quite go for broke here. It just kind of weaves over the center point of the highway, never going off into the ditch. Speaking of ditches, more specifically car wrecks, there are a couple side stories in this film, one of which a woman who's about to die because of a car wreck, another one is a creepy uncle who actually raped Laura Dern's character when she was only 14, then there's the guy who's losing his mind because a dude with black leather gloves is haunting him. But in actuality, it's himself. These little micro stories are fascinating. They're really well told and they don't overstay their welcome. But at the same time, why? <laughs> like, what is the point to half of them? I'm sure people have dug into all of this far more than I'm going to bother and say, all right, well, this represents this part of the human psyche and this, it's all about grabbing what makes you happy and holding on to it and blah, 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 whatever. Is the movie entertaining? Kind of. 
but it's a little too weird for mainstream audiences and not weird enough for me to go, okay, this is crazy, I'm having a good time, definitely wild at heart. Instead, it was just kind of tepid at heart. I did appreciate that in one of the final moments of the film, Sailor looks up at a literal representation of the Good Witch and says, I'm wild at heart. He said the title. He said the thing. I like that. I like that when they say the title in the movie. Overall, though, this didn't really work for me, but I'm not a David Lynch guy. Okay, I don't know why people think I'm into the artsy stuff. I'm a meat and potatoes individual. Occasionally, I'll veer off path. But I think for the most part, uh, what you see is what you get. Regardless, I appreciate all my Patreon and YouTube joint supporters, and I'm always happy to check out something new. Because I've been surprised in the past by movies, so you never know what's going to work and what's not. But I'm very appreciative for the support. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie content each and every week. Please like this video if you had a good time. Hit that notification bell. That's like the biggest thing I could ask of you. Hit the notification bell so these show up in your feed in the future. And hopefully I'll see you next time.